Hi there everyone, our Cross with Haven Horsemanship here and I wanted to give you a little update after our first day using the Peebo. I'm using it right now so you'll see it's following my face. <laughs> I have it on um, the, the following, you know, a, a face feature. Um, there are a couple different ways that it can follow. It can follow a face or it can follow a shape that's moving and the shape that's moving is the one they recommend for horses. So I'm going to put some clips in here showing um, following face, following horses and uh, I hope uh, uh, both the successes and then also the challenges that we had. Overall, I'd say positives of it are it is incredibly easy to use. Um, it has an app. The app is really easy to use. I have not experimented with all of the different features in the app as far as making different types of videos and things like that, so I can't update you on that part yet. Um, but what I can say is that it is very easy to use. The app is easy to use. It's easy to set up. It takes seconds to set up, which is different than uh, some of the other options that I have mentioned. Um, so easy to use and overall it does a pretty good job. Uh, as you'll see in the videos, I mainly had struggles with figuring out what I should have the Pivo follow, what I should select. Um, selecting the horse didn't always work and I don't know if that's because the way everything is set up here, there's generally horses all around us. When we're in the arena, there's horses all around us. At the back, there's horses all around us. Uh, so, especially for faster work out in front in the arena, I kept losing Friday when I was playing with Friday. In the back doing slower work, I worked with Rhea, Tiki, and Sierra, I think are the ones I have video of. And that, it didn't struggle with nearly as much. Um, but doing faster work out front, having it try to follow Friday didn't work. So I'll have to keep experimenting with that. What I found worked best at the back of the property as I was experimenting more is actually having it follow my helmet because it could always more or less see my helmet. So I'll keep experimenting and I'll keep you posted. Okay, so I just put it on to follow Friday. We'll see how it works. Hi, Friday. Well, it lost us. <laughs> we'll try again. Maybe we'll try putting it. I might have seen another horse. We'll try putting it on me instead. Friday. Good boy. Keeps losing us. Let's see if we can get Friday back in the frame again. It might, might be too confusing because there's too many horses around. So far, for things like, uh, you know, talking head videos like this, I think it's awesome. You don't have to hold your phone and you have the freedom to move and express yourself without being limited by the frame that you're in. For uh, things like groundwork, um, especially if you want to be able to take, um, you know, little videos of yourself doing groundwork with your horse without being limited by the frame that you're in, awesome. It does come with a little remote, which is very, very cool. Um, you can take pictures with it. You can also start and stop your video with it. And you can manipulate a little bit if it isn't following you. Another positive is unlike things like the solo shot, you can tell if it's not following you. <laughs> you can glance over there and see that your phone isn't pointed at you. Whereas uh, things like the solo shot, you don't know if it's worked or not until you are all done and you put it on your computer and see what video you've got. And that can be, at least for me, very frustrating. If I'm so excited because I think I got something really cool and then I get it on my computer and realize that I didn't get any of it at all.
hope that's helpful for you. And I will keep you posted. As always, for full training videos, including the ones that I got with Pivo, uh, check out the Haven Horsemanship community because they will all be posted there. Take care.